cheap oil and gas may last decades, coal could last centuries. But a more pressing deadline looms. The threat? Global warming, fueled by burning coal and oil. Australia's cities all run on coal. Burning it produces heavy metals, acid rain, and global warming. And the average Australian uses more coal than almost anyone on Earth. Australia needs help to clean up its act and help lies in its own backyard. Four hundred miles southeast of Sydney, in the middle of nowhere, burns a spark of invention. In this lonely corner of the outback, creating clean energy is one man's dream. That dream became a passion. And from a passion, it's become an almost unhealthy obsession. Roger Davy is obsessed with an overlooked source of power, the sun. Here they see so much of it, they've given the area a name. Roger Davy will build a solar plant on the scale never seen before. It is spectacular. The top of the tower would be right at about our eyesight as we're, we're situated right now. And about 65 metres across, or what's that, about 190 feet in diameter. He calls it the Solar Power Tower. It will be the world's biggest solar power plant and one of the tallest objects ever built. It will rise to 2,000 feet, hundreds of feet taller than the highest skyscraper. Around the base, a sheet of glass six times the size of New York's Central Park. traditional solar plants, Rogers Tower is powered by the same principle that keeps this balloon aloft. Rising hot air. The sun's rays beat down on the glass and heat the air trapped underneath. Hot air rises, so the air runs towards the center where the tower is situated. And just like a cold day when you light a fire, the smoke goes whoosh up the chimney, runs through turbines, and turbines spin through the generators, generating electricity. Which I think is almost the holy grail of renewable energy. The tower will produce enough energy to power 100,000 homes without burning a single lump of coal. The effect on air quality? like taking 90,000 cars off the road. It is clean, it is green, it is the way of the future. In Australia, they're tapping the sun. In Britain,